Hey, everybody. How is things? You try and get stuff organized over here. Nightbot doesn't want to open for some reason. I don't know what's happening there. Hey, Gabby, I am late. I am so late. I sat here in between calls trying to get something done on, hey, Sarah, on Miss Maybe's commission. And I finally got this put on here during that last call. But it's been quite a day. How, how's your guys' days been? You doing all right? I'm pretty happy. I um I repositioned the dyno and changed the arch on these letters so that we didn't get into this glitter or this glitter or this glitter. <laughs> and then I put the dyno over this part of the pour because the pour came out and then squared off. And I really liked the dyno head here because it looks like half a heart. It looks like this whole thing is just a big heart. And so I loved it. So I, I spent way too much time today fidgeting with it, trying to get it, you know, just right. But I think I'm happy with it now. It's not all the way down. I love, there's a little heart in her crown too. <laughs> and then the little coasters. Look how cute they look with it. So I'm pretty pleased. And believe it or not, this, this little bit right here, <laughs> getting that adjusted to match these when they're this small, my goodness. I don't know why that part was so important to me, but it was just very important for some reason. So, you know, <laughs> I messed and messed with that last night trying to figure it out. But I think it looks cute. I am happy with them. Right. Well, it's not clear coated. They don't adhere well without clear coat. And when you put, like this is three layers of vinyl thick, it doesn't want to stick. But it'll be fine once I get it all clear coated. So yeah, I'm not even set up. Like I'm, I'm getting there though. So we're going to need some black, 
we're going to need some white. <laughs> I don't know what all colors I need. Let's start with this. We're going to have a whole art show. That's what we're going to do today. <laughs> we're going to get these paintings signed first. Get that all done and then we're going to figure out how to engrave. Okay. That was unexpected result there. <laughs> we're going to figure out how to engrave on the Cricut. And we're going to see if we can't get these little acrylic blanks for the keychains engraved. Which will be fun. Because then we're going to figure out how to put them into soap. And look what I have. Hey, Kevin. Want some Australian root beer? Hi, Bohemian. That's a bizarre top. Wow. Wow. Have you guys ever had this? Tastes a little weird. You can't put the lid back on it. Hey, Ginger. How's everybody? Kevin, how was your stream? Tell me what happened. You said you played, did you play a new game today? What'd you play? Hey, maybe. Do you want to see it with the coasters next to it? Slay the Spire. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm so glad you like it. So it gets to be the first, uh, the first painting today that gets signed. Because we're going to sign all the paintings today. So there you go, a signed painting. You want me to sign the coasters too? I don't need to sign the coasters, do I? <laughs> Indie Rogue Game. Use cards to attack and defend. Oh, that's fun. Yes, okay. I might have to put on my glasses for all this. We're going to sign everything today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get this done. So 
so that all the things are signed. It's on Android, iOS, Switch, and Stream. Well, that's cool. There we go. Four little signed dinosaurs. So cute. <laughs> we'll let these sit over here and dry. I didn't think about drying room as I sign stuff. <laughs> His dab. These turned out so cool. Check this out. So you guys watched me paint these separately, right? Not only did I paint them separately, but I painted this one this way. But they fit. All these bubbles and all these cells fit together like they were poured together. They are so cool. Look at the details in this. <laughs> like these are insane. All these little floaty bubbles. Like this one looks like an oyster shell that just opened up and all the bubbles are coming up, right? They're so cool. The color is crazy. Love them. And then we have this lovely malachite looking one. Hey Gator. I like this one too. We're signing paintings today. And then there's this one. <laughs> Look at this. Right? It looks like an ocean wave, like when you're, when you're at the ocean and you pay a quarter to look through the telescope, right? You sign tickets. It's not up yet. It's not in the store yet. I haven't taken photos or anything. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Existing works that will go with it, right? There's a few 
actually. Um, if I was going to do a vignette like on this wall, I would probably put it with where's the where is that? I think it would be pretty with this right here. No, it goes this way. I would hang it like this on a wall. That's probably what I would do. Your lines are really similar. Your colors are very, very similar. The flow, right? You see how that flows the same and then comes up into the wave? Like if I were gonna hang them as a set, that's probably how I'd do it. I seriously thought about breaking these up and putting them into mystery boxes. But I just can't break up that set. I really love it together. And what's really cool is like, not only does this purple move around like that, but you see this green and blue, it's got its own wave here in this one. A little bit of sea foam there at the bottom. <laughs> Mermaid garden. Uh, it's more blue. It's more blue than green. If you were going to do that, um, you almost have to bring in like something that ties that together with the same colors, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you'd almost, because you've got this blue and purple and then you've got this really nice sea foam green you'd almost have to bring in a green and purple hi anzi to make it work two on top four on the bottom make it symmetrical yep you could do that these three together would be pretty um <laughs> or Where's that little... Oh, you could almost do this. Oh, I bet this would look great. You could do this. I'm not going to be able to fit these in the camera. I'm going to knock everything down. Can you see it? You can't see it. You could do the ocean the wave, and then this at the bottom of the sea. You see your colors? Hey, Pun City. Add a mod to the mod appreciation painting. Okay.
Look, Pine City. You're appreciated. You're forever on the mod appreciation painting now. So these three would be pretty together. I do like this with the set of four. I mean, I guess with the set of four, your other option. See, the nice thing about this four piece set is you can move them, right? Because you could hang them this way, too. I really like those together. I really do. I like this vignette together. I don't, But I don't know what wall you're putting it on or what you're looking for. Reaching up, stand out in that new way. Okay. That one should go that way. Okay. Same wall, reaching up will go on the next wall. Oh, now that would look nice. That would look nice. <laughs> All right. Let me tuck these away before I lose track of what I'm doing. We will get you taken care of, Gabby. These have been signed. I really do like this. my camera crooked? Is this crooked? Can somebody clip that for me real quick? Making me a squirrel, I know, right? It's not hard to do, is it? I want to remember this. I really like it. Thank you. We may revisit this layout later. I know. I appreciate it. Okay. So this is a four piece set. Gabby, if you're getting this, are you getting this set? You're getting this set. Do you want all four of them signed or just one of them? All four? Just one. Okay, I'm gonna sign the purple one here. And that way you can continue to turn the rest of them any way you want and it won't be upside down. So if you want to move them on your wall, you still have the freedom to do that. All right. I gotta tell you, that circular wave is probably, it's right up there on one of my favorite pieces that I've ever done. The um, 
in her head that Skellington owns is a piece that I like well enough. I mean, I made it, you know, almost a year ago now. I painted that painting, and it's a piece I still think about. because I loved it so much. And that one will be the same. I'm telling you this Australian root beer tastes a little bit like beer and it's kind of freaking me out. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? It's Australian root beer. Oh, I can't. I can do it this way. I can't tip it over on my painting. Can you see it? I've never tried it before. And the lid, like it looks like a regular lid, but it's got like this funky pull tab thing. And when you do that, it pulls the whole lid off and then it pops off. <laughs> and I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. <laughs> yeah, my son was like, oh, I love that stuff. Get some of that, right? So we ordered a little four pack of it. And I was like, I want to try it. I get in like phases. I mean, you ever get in like a phase where you're like, oh my gosh, you know what I want? I want an orange soda. And then you have an orange soda and you're like, right? It tastes like dye. But you really want one? For whatever reason, I'm doing that with root beer right now and I've been on this root beer kick for like a week. I don't know what my problem is. So, that's what's happening right now with me. All right. We're going to pull up this Etsy store. Because something else that I do, like as soon as something has been sold, is attempt to remember Okay. Evil. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight that. I'm gonna do this. Is attempt to remember to do this because I have title cards? go with every painting. And at one point I made these title cards immediately for every painting and then I stopped and so some of them have them and some of them don't and I am nervous that somebody's painting is going to go out without a title card and I don't want that. So we're going to do title cards.
So this is going to be super exciting today. While we get this done. <laughs> But you guys get to see all of the art that you haven't seen, right? I may not have enough to do all this. But we'll get as many done as we can. tempted to call these purple paintings boobles. Boobles. So what's everybody else been working on? <laughs> Boobles. That's how I feel when I look at it. Gabby, what was that painting that I renamed for you? What was it that we <laughs> renamed that painting? I can't remember now. God, that was funny. All right. This has a card and it's signed. Look at us making progress today. Oh. Check this out. I don't remember. I put it in stream first. Look at these coasters, you guys. These turned out so pretty. Like, I freaking love the colors. These are a combination between uh, Gemma's and those ocean paintings, right? That wave painting. Their combination between the paints. They turned out so freaking cool. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. That's right. That's the official title. I work well with others when they leave me the fuck alone. They should, Ansi. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Gabby ordered two paintings to take to her office and in the title card in the back of one, that's, that's the official title. I'm excited. Do you have any questions? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Okay, now I'm going to just drop shit. Really excited. Good. 
Good, good, good. You've learned a lot, so you think you're prepared, right? You've probably heard me say the same things over and over again, haven't you? That's too funny. It just takes a little bit of, it just takes a little practice, right? It's really fun. It's, um, it isn't, I mean, doing the pores themselves is really cool, right? And one of the things that I, oh, good. Um, one of the things that I really, really love about it is that, um, do you ever, do you ever feel like you're, um, like you can't make a choice, right? Like you, you struggle in your head. You know that you need to make a choice, but you can't decide what to do. And it's really, really stressful. Like, you know, have you been, there's probably a thousand situations in your life where you've felt that way, right? And if I'm um, doing traditional with a brush painting, right? I will overthink it every time. I will struggle to make choices as to um, how far do I shade this? How much light do I put here? What angle does it come from? Like just a thousand choices go through my head and because brush painting means that I can stop I'll think acrylic pouring doesn't allow me to do that right like okay so this painting right here all right let's just take this one because it's sitting here so we poured we poured the sand here right uh, I poured this periwinkle blue here we poured some dark blue through here, and then I dripped dark blue here. And then I got my heat gun out. And the rest of this process in making the painting, I mean, at this point, it's just stripes, right? The rest of the process that created this painting took maybe two minutes. And there were at least 100 choices in those two minutes. And I just made them without thinking. So the cool thing about this to me is that it teaches my brain that it's okay to just make a choice. Because you've done it a hundred times in the last two minutes. This one is not really any harder than any of those, right? You can do it. It's okay. And it forces you to just let go, right? and let that happen um, just because the medium requires it, right? Not because you're actively doing it, but it's one of the things that I really, really enjoy about it and I would never have known that that, that part of, of acrylic pore painting was, was important to me as an artist because when you think of acrylic pore painting, you see all of these um, more crafty people, people not calling themselves artists, people not, right? Oh, it's a fad thing, it's a whatever, and people discount it. But, I mean, I've used a lot of different mediums and I've done a ton of different kinds of art and this just holds a really special place in my heart. And the other cool part about it, and Gabby and I were talking about this earlier today, is that what I paint in the moment, as soon as I set it to drip and to dry and cure, it has its own life. It sits there and matures and changes. And I poke back in here and check on them, right? I come look at them, ooh, look what it's doing now. Ooh, look what's happening now. Um, and it's just a very happy, very cool thing. Even for the paintings that I don't think work out great. 
right? I mean, I've got two of them over here that you'll see at some point tonight that completely got a new second life because I wasn't happy with them as pores, but I love them as finished paintings. So it's really cool. So hopefully you will have, it feeds off of her energy exactly, right? It just keeps going. Probably help if I signed this one. Um, yeah, and it's really cool. I love that part of it. Yeah. The fact that I can create something and it isn't just me, right? Because uh, obviously all of you guys interacting are part of this, right? You're all part of that energy. You're all part of that art process. That part is really cool that we're all doing this together. I may be the hands that create it, but we are all the minds together that do it. And then on top of that, right? I get all of these little peaks at something that is maturing in front of me that we created together. And then those pieces get to go off and have forever homes with somebody that I genuinely care about. Like how can that not be just the best thing ever, right? Like that is so good. There's just no, there's no downside. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so I'm super happy that you get to start doing this. And I really, I really hope that whatever your experience turns into being, right, however it goes for you, I hope it is just as good for you as it has been for me. By the way, you see this? It's like a super cheap, like $2 envelope thing for an, a desk. Pro tip, <laughs> my paintings are stacked in these in a bookcase because they do not bend, the canvas doesn't get stretched, everything stays really, really nice this way. I freaking love these things. And we're going to use them while I'm signing these paintings because then none of the signatures will touch. And make it all stack up here and dry. And I don't have to take up a ton of space. Do none of these have cards? Have I been doing these cards all along? I freaking love those things. I have, I have a bunch of different versions of them. Okay, what do we name this painting? Dipping your toes into 2020? Is that what we called it? Yes. This is my favorite bubble. If you want to know what my favorite bubble is, that's my favorite bubble. Are you guys catching all the sneak peeks behind me, by the way? 
for the soap cult. Right, it's my favorite one. <laughs> I, I don't know why I don't like the other. It's not that I don't like the other ones, it's that that one's my favorite. Are you seeing all the sneak peeks? You get sneak peeks. <laughs> Here's our Anzi. There's two pours that I didn't like that we turned into something else. I did this off stream. Yeah. That's an acrylic pour. I uh, drew the shapes of rocks onto the canvas and painted it black in, be in between. And then uh, I did just a little bit of light and shadow on them. But they look 3D, right? But they're not. They're flat. Yeah, there were parts of this pour that I really liked. There was a little dragon guy right here. You can kind of see his face. There's a little dragon guy right here, right? Um, but I hated everything else. This is Mossy River Skipping Stones. So we changed them. You can do it with, you can make rocks. I like rocks. These are like red jasper rocks. Um, or you could do it with bubbles, like on the, the 2020 painting. Um, you know, white out or black out everything and then make bubbles. Do color in between it and then make bubbles, whatever. Uh, But I add vinyl to some of them that I don't think feel complete, right? So there's a lot you can do with that. And sometimes they're just great all by themselves. I had I had this canvas for probably um, probably three or four months sitting here before I decided to make it into stones. because I didn't quite know what to do with it. But I knew I wasn't happy with it. Combining pouring with string art. It's going to be good. I'm super excited about it. Seriously, I think it's gonna be amazing. What you do already is amazing all by itself. But yeah, why couldn't you combine the mediums, right? I 
think it's going to be great. I want to know why not a single painting has a card. Like, did I, did I just stop doing this? Did I just not put cards on anything anymore? Like, what is my problem? I do too. I do too. Definitely. We got busy creating a cult. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, because what ends up happening is I'm, I'm trying to like fit too many things into one day, right? So it's a, <laughs> it's a, that's okay, I'll do it later. And then now is later because it's never gonna get done, right? Yeah. I try really hard to keep the studio as organized as possible all the time. <laughs> It'd be really cool for you to do like, have you looked, Amzie, at people doing chain pulls? Crafting a cult is hard work. You're not wrong. See? No cards. No cards. No cards. The heck? We're going to have to cut more cards. None of these have cards either. Okay. Sorry, my cat needed attention. That's all right. I was saying, have you have you watched people doing the chain pulls or string pulls with acrylic pores? And maybe something that uh, you find works with your string art. Because you can do them with intention, right? And make like the wings and, and all that kind of stuff. The feathers are cool. Flowers, obviously, it's probably the most common.
I'm going to miss that on my wall. They're so pretty. I get to put up a new vignette. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you do. I can't wait to see pictures. I have to see all the pictures. Okay, so I got out this black paint because I thought I'd be signing in black, but apparently I'm just gonna sign everything in white. <laughs> but that's okay because we're making progress. This one gets signed in black. this I really really wish see that gold lacing in this like that perfect placement of gold there's anything I wish I could replicate it would be that right there don't like that much white Hey, lemons. Oh, you mean the bookends? Or these? So these were poured separately. Um, I poured this one first set it on the table over here to drip, and then poured this one, and as I was pouring it, decided I wanted them to be a single piece. And that's a really nice gold metallic in there. So when the light hits these bad boys. Yep, we're signing art today. So they're a two-piece. I call them the bookends. Super happy with the cell development and the shading in these. Pouring with the children in the morning. Awesome. First one, green paint was lumpy. School paint sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you to do about it. If it's tempura or really inexpensive acrylic paints that are old or been used, you know what I mean? Ah. 
There's only so much you can do about it. Why does this taste like actual beer? It's not, right? It's just root beer, right? It's just root beer. Maybe it's the yeast that I'm taking. Yeah. I understand that. This has such a cool texture to it. This was a weird one. But the texture is cool. You know, sometimes when I look at these like in mass like this, they don't even look like they were painted by the same person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it looks like I have a lot of different styles. I must be a moody bitch or something. Bought some paint today, some gold and silver. Oh, nice. The school can fit the bill in the morning. Here's another example of one that I liked, but it wasn't finished until I put vinyl on it. I mean, I like that painting. It looks like a hole in a tree trunk. But you couldn't see the story until I put the vinyl there, right? The galaxy? Yeah. Yeah. And that got star shines and stars added to it with a brush right after the pour was done. This one got her whole face all added to it after the pour was done. I'm just knocking shit over all over the place. Uh. We're going to have to sign him in black, probably. I still can't wait to see who buys this. I want to know whose soul this is. Because this is a soul painting. A hundred percent.
Where's the... Productive and relaxing stream. Yeah, you can just watch me sign all my paintings. Well, all the ones that we have left anyway, right? All right. So... this back over here. Where's my other stand? Oh, I see. I see. I wonder if we couldn't just set those just like that. Good, good, good. This, this painting, our angry or orchid, our Alice in Wonderland flower. This is the painting that somebody decided to uh, attempt to uh, do a fishing scam or doxing or whatever you want to call it. This is the painting they used to do that. I was like, why you want to use my angry flower against me? So I had somebody on Etsy message me on Etsy and ask me if we could have a conversation via email. I said fine and gave him my business email, right? So then they're in my email saying that uh, they don't want to buy this painting through Etsy. They want to send me a check and all they need is uh, my real name, my address. <laughs> I was like, um, no. Well, my uncle's going to buy it for me, and um, so just give me your real name and your home address, and I'll mail you a check. And I was like, well, you can use PayPal. That's an option for you, right? You can set up a PayPal with a check. Nope, we're going to mail you a check. Ah, uh, no. The one I just signed? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure because um, they had an Etsy account that um, like was brand new and in the middle of this email exchange they deleted that account. Uh, I'm pretty sure they probably came from here. Pretty sure it was probably somebody from Twitch. that wanted a little bit more information about me. It is cool, isn't it? You know what's cool about that painting? Is that 
Shaquise? Is that how you say it? Thank you so much for following. Welcome. Um, you know what's cool about this painting, Gabby, is that as the light changes in the room, like when it gets darker, the pink shows up more than, than the blues. Like, I don't know, here. And I don't know why I like those together, but I do. Check this out. Can you guys see it well enough from back there? <laughs> so at night, this painting looks happy. Can you see it? You can barely see it, it's too far away. So at night, when you come in here, this painting looks like super happy and very bright and upbeat. And in the daytime, it looks grumpy as fuck. Which cracks me up because that's pretty much how I feel like Monday through Friday. In the daytime, I'm a little bit grumpy. <laughs> but at night, it gets better. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy lemons. It was a pretty short exchange. I mean, I didn't talk for very long with them, obviously, because I was like, oh, um, I don't think so. And I mean, I tried to be polite about it, you know. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that, you know, you're interested in this painting. That's cool. But um, let's not get, you know, weird about it. Please don't bump my arm. I'm trying to do a thing here, Mr. Cat. Yeah, I'm trying to do a thing, Mr. Cat. What you doing, Trax? That's a chain pull, Anzi. It's not a very good one. I painted over her afterwards. I mean, as far as just a straight chain pull itself, I don't think it was the best technique. Exactly, right? So we we added to her. We worked with her. Oh, what's this? It's a secret note. Oh, this is the post-it note that came on Miss Maybe's faces that we made into a face on a stick that fell behind my pegboard back there. And we'll never see her again. Where are you going? <laughs> where, where are you going? Are you legit going to try and lay like that? Buddy, you are going to fall. You're going to fall. He's got his butt on the arm of my chair and his front feet on the desk. So there's a gap like this much between the arm and the chair. That's just air underneath him. I know. He just wants to cuddle, right? Dad just wants some pets. 
I just, are you actually going to try and lay down there like that? He's going to fall. He's not graceful. Tracks. This is a bad idea, buddy. I think we have narrowed down that um, what's happening with Trax and the reason he's developmentally delayed is because he probably has a neurological disorder. Hey, Dart. So that's why he does things like this and then falls down. And I have to try and catch him all the time. But he has a sweet soul. Don't you? Do I have a sweet soul? Yes. This is very difficult to sit this still so that this cat doesn't fall off the arm of my chair. <laughs> but you're doing good, buddy. You're doing good, buddy. Are you all balanced? Yes, you're doing a good job. Okay, you can't go all the way up here. There's wet paint, there's wet paint over there. I know, right? It's hard to say no to him anyway because he's just a big, chonky sweetheart. And he just wants love all the time, don't you? Tell him, I'm a big, chonky sweetheart. And he's going to look sad because I'm going to put him down and he's going to pout. You see this chonky pout? <laughs> you can't get up there. You want treats? Yes. You want treats? Ashira will wake up for treats. Ashira's in the box. There she is. Yes, yes. Uh, Ashira, Trax is the reason you're getting treats. Just a second. Trax can have treats first, Shira. Trax can have treats first. Your treats are right there. You be nice. You think they're starving to death? <laughs> uh, Shira is sleeping in an Amazon box underneath my table right here. She's an old grumpy lady and she thinks that she always has to be fed first. Trax and Ashira are my my son's cats, but Trax is now my cat. They don't like any treats. Lemons bought them these treats off of their wish list, and they seem to really like them. They're only two calories a treat. Beta, my original, we originally had one cat in this house. Beta cat um, does tricks for treats. So he'll sit up pretty where he sits up on his butt and, and raises his little paws and stuff. Um, hey, Bass. Oh, were they different than the wish list one? Um, hey, Shira. Let him eat his last treat. Don't take his treat. Thank you. Um, but these guys don't. They don't. They don't necessarily do tricks. They just eat treats. Which is okay. I mean, you know, three, four days a week they get three or four two calorie treats. I don't think it's gonna hurt anybody. What have you been up to, Bass?
Can you see my paintings? Which paintings? I'm good. Which painting you want to see, Bass? Hey, Gorilla. How are you doing? The one stacked? Sure. We've got this one. We've got a glittery rain one. Still working on taxes. Eh. I'm sorry, gorilla. Broken wing. This has got some really, really cool back color in it. Uh, iron iris. How to deduct my internet partially. <laughs> well, I mean, you can as a business expense, right? Thanks, Bass. I am signing all of my paintings because I have never signed them. And I have been the blue and green. Right? Yeah. It's got some really cool depth to it. It's hard for the camera to pick it up. And I love these spots, right? With all those different colors underneath them. Trying to figure out how to figure out the amount. Yours wasn't signed? Well, nobody's has been signed, which is a complaint that people have. So I am fixing that by signing all of them. Anybody want to buy this half off so I never have to look at this fucking thing again? Because that'd be great. 50% off right now. Make a bid. <sighs> Black light paintings. Um, I never have. That would be really cool. Gabby. No. Okay, Lemons. No, I've never done that, Bass. That would be awesome. Are you serious, Gabby? Okay, but I don't want a selfie with Mrs. with it. I promise, I'm serious, if you buy this painting, I want it to just go away. I don't want to see it ever and ever again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I feel that way when I do. <laughs> yeah, you want it 50% off? $15, this painting's yours. Okay. Yeah, but it's listed at full price. Like it's listed at the regular price. Hang on. This painting, it just makes me angry. Okay. It's the only painting in the room that makes me angry. Everything else makes me happy. Hey, Eric. And this painting pisses me off. There you go, Gabby. If you do a black light one. Okay, so I know there's black light paint, right, Bass? Gotta be faster than Gabby or <laughs> Uh How 
How you doing, Eric? I painted this painting as a commission in March of 2020. I still have this painting. Blue and green one that holds the image under a black light would be so cool. It is indeed another moose ears, yes. Yes, Gabby, before then. Bass, this is a super interesting idea. I love this. Are you, Bass, aren't you, are you in my Discord, aren't you? Are you in my Discord? Can somebody, if Bass isn't in the Discord, can somebody pop that in the Ideas channel? A blue and green black light painting. I mean, if you really want one, you can commission it from me and I'll buy the materials and make it for you. But we can pop it in the ideas channel and I will get to it. Like as we move through that channel, I'll get to it. It's all right, Bass. Gabby gotcha. Um, I just don't want that to get forgotten. Because this is an interesting idea. I like it. Thirty discords. <laughs> yeah. No worries. <laughs> I just want to make sure it got written down. You know what I'm saying? The Dark Mermaids. So I should probably only sign the bottom one, right? I'll just sign the bottom one. I don't need to sign all three of these. This size? These are 30. I charge 30 for an acrylic pour. Uh, and that's with or without the overlays. Like these have vinyl overlays. It's still 30. I don't know. I've never looked at, um, I don't know how much the paint would cost. I can look it up and DM you, Bass. But if it's around the same price that I'm paying now, then yeah, it'd be the same price. And if it's higher, then it would just be plus, like let's say my materials cost me 20 bucks. If it's gonna cost me 24 to make that, then I'm gonna say that the painting's 34. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna add the extra four bucks on it because that's what it cost me extra. So I'll look it up. I can DM you if you want and let you know what I figure out this week. You're all right. I'm not going anywhere. <coughs> Are you going anywhere? <laughs> of black light paint? <laughs> well, we definitely don't want to encourage that behavior, Gabby, because I've been mad about this for a year, and I don't like that. This painting is upside down. This is upside down. 
What am I doing with my life? That's better. Sixteen for paint. Um, uh, what was so went? I only know of the primary and, and uh, secondary neons that show up under black light and then white. So you're looking at like seven colors, Bass, is all I know about. But I'm sure there's probably a variety of shades of those colors. But how bright they are, you know, probably vary a little bit. Yeah, there's a neon blue and green. Yeah, they're primary and secondary. So, um, red, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange, um, all in neons. But that red looks more like a hot pink. You know what I mean? Man, I hate to sign this painting. This painting has a mysterious letter E. What does it mean? Why is that there? <laughs> right? It's an imposter. Sus. Showed him. Lemons. All right, Bass. Lemons. It's a tiny lemon and it's stuffed. Squish it. Squish it. It's squishy. Hey, conquering. They put a Tinder ad on my stream? Yes. I just watched it. Tinder? Yep. Really? Don't be lonely. Come join Tinder. Are you serious? I was like, what the fuck is this? Wow. Which way's the. <laughs> Let me unsub. <laughs> That's how big it is. Potpourri, welcome! Did she see it? Yeah, she saw it. Mm -hmm. Rabbit holding the lemon, right? No, it's for a cow. The lemon's for the cow. But the cow will be almost the same size as the lemon. But the cow will be about the same size as the, the little rabbit. You can tell them all stories. Which way do you swipe on Tinder to say no? Is it left or right? Right is yes. Right is yes? Okay, so swipe left. That's what we're trying to say here today. <laughs> so, y'all can swipe your asses left after the Tinder ad. <laughs> what? No, you can tell her later when you make it. Oh my gosh, that is too fun. Why? Why? That is so funny. The funny part was like what it said. I was all like, you're not the abstinent. Right? This is not the stream you're looking for.
<laughs> hey, country. Conquering, he's throwing up Lord Love a Duck. I'm just stacking paintings all over the place. I'm gonna run out of space. This is how many paintings we have, you guys. So many. Sup, fish? So many. Tried it, got a message asking if I was just looking for D and delete it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, rest up, conquering. I hope you have a good stream when you do stream. What are you up to, fish? Fish, I hear you're jealous because I named soap after buzzard. Am I hearing that correctly? You wanting that fish soap? <laughs> Trout soap. Catfish soap. You could run a, a Tinder ad on catfish soap. Trout stink. Fit stalker. Ugly, stinky soap now? No, absolutely. My soap is always going to be uh, wonderful smelling. I mean, it may not be the prettiest soap in the world, but it'll always work good and it'll always smell good. All right. <laughs> yes, Pew, you have taught me my lesson. You have taught me my I was so anxious over did I or didn't I sign those paintings until you got them, and then I didn't, that this has been driving me crazy. You're going to send them back, and I'll sign them and send them back to you again. I wish we were closer and you could, because I'd 100%. I'd do it. Yes, so you taught me a lesson. So all the paintings are getting signed. So that I make sure that that never happens to anybody again. Because I feel awful about it. And it's worse because I like genuinely didn't know. I was like, oh my God, I have no idea. Which makes me feel awful. <clears throat> hey Penny, a screaming cat with possible allergy problems. You want to send yours back for signing too? Look out, Skull. Y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm officially out. I'm officially out of space. I'm 
why do you have a screaming cat with potential allergy problems? What's going on? <clears throat> oh, look at that. There's an ugly canvas at the bottom of the shelf. that is not in the Etsy store. Oh, sh God, that was almost bad. Where does skulls malfunction? Oh, you want me to sign that? You never signed it. That's because I don't sign my paintings. Until now. See what happens? One tender ad later. And I'm signing everything. Son of a That's not who painted that painting. Technically it is. I know it is, but... You could have also put me on it. Itching herself raw. Ruling out food allergy or something else and she's bored hungry and thinks we're being mean and forced... Oh, Poor thing! Oh, poor thing! Where did the, there it is. I'm like, where's my lapis lazuli? Guys, I think we've signed them all. I think this is it. Let's check our walls. Check the shelves. Okay. There we go. All of these paintings are signed. And in the future, as we paint paintings, I will sign them, okay? Where, oh, I said it here. By the way, can I just say, best line of cell development ever, right there that. It's freaking gorgeous. Why are you sorry, Pew? Why are you saying sorry? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so Pew, I have I have not signed my paintings this whole time, which is a me issue, okay. Um, I don't know why. I don't even, I don't, 
I don't even know if I can articulate the why behind it, okay? But I would go to do it and I go, mm, no, I shouldn't do that. And then I didn't. And I stopped myself from, from signing paintings over and over and over again. And I don't really know what my hesitation was. I don't, I don't know if this is a self-esteem thing that I'm not aware of. You know what I mean? It's a right penny. I don't know what it is. But I hesitated and I didn't do it and then I avoided it and then, okay, I mean, obviously I avoided it, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you asked me to sign it and I was like, sure, I'll sign it. And when people have asked me to sign paintings, I've signed their paintings, no problem. And then I didn't freaking do it and I was like, okay, this isn't, this isn't okay. Like, why am I doing this in my own head? Right? So I put it on the to-do to list. I'm going to do this. Apparently, I am never going to do this unless I say I'm going to do it live on stream. Like, I don't think it ever would have got done. I would have just continued to, like, avoid it for whatever freaking reason that's in the back of my head. So this is 100% not you doing something to me. This is me doing something to me that's not good for me. I mean, it's not really hurting me. It's not like I'm agonizing over this, okay? It's just a little blip that hits the back of my head every now and then. But when I didn't do what you asked me to do and there's no way for me to take it back, like it, it, that bothered me. So I was like, this isn't okay. So, yeah. There is absolutely no reason in this world, and you all should hear this, okay? If you're doing something that doesn't build you up to yourself, figure out how to stop doing it. Find a way to stop doing it. I know, Pew, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. I am constantly growing and learning about me, right? I am constantly developing as a human being and this is part of it. This is just part of that, which is, it's, a, it's an incredible thing, Pew, because you're part of my life lessons now. I mean, you should be saying you're welcome and not I'm sorry. You taught me something about me. That's a wonderful thing. That's what friends do, right? I'm able to grow and to let go of something that hits the back of my head every now and then and feel better about me because of an experience I had with you. Right? Yeah. Thank you. That's a really good thing. And that's why we're all here together, right? Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? is growing together and learning together and doing good things together. Like that's a freaking beautiful thing. But I didn't realize it was actually an issue until you, right? And then I was like, yeah, this is, this is not okay. I don't need this issue in my life. Like, why am I doing this to myself? I'm just thinking of new ways to torture myself. Because I don't need to do that. I deserve better than that. Every one of you deserves better than that, right? So these are going to have to go in here this way in order for the paint not to touch. Oh my goodness. Okay, beta cat. Don't fall on the paintings. Don't fall on the paintings. Um. <laughs> okay. This has a signature on it. This has a signature on it. These do not. So they can be over here. Which 
just like this. And just like this. I gotta organize everything back the way I had it. Only without any signatures touching. Like this is easy, right? <sighs> yes. Yes, we got something done. This needs, these need to come over here. These need to come over here. Look at all the paintings. <laughs> and we're making more next week, y'all. <laughs> We're going to paint more paintings next week. What you doing, Skull? Oh my gosh. Dropping paintings. All right. Our soul down the rabbit hole. They can go here. These guys can go here. Gosh, I love that metallic gold. Look at that shine. So shiny. All right. Have we got everything put up a little bit? Whoo. Okay. Okay. Not good for my brush. Don't treat your brushes as harshly as I do. I don't know about this yeasty Australian root beer. Fitted you on? I don't think I know what that phrase means. Secret things. <laughs> Gabby doesn't know what it means either. <laughs> My twin Gabby. Yeah, I don't know what that means. She about beat my bat batati bat batatuti. Batuti. Are you just trying to make me say words? <laughs> Are you just making up shit and trying to make me say it out loud right now? <laughs> Are you trolling me because of Tinder? <laughs> Lemons. Look at what's coming tomorrow. Okay. 
That all makes perfect sense to you. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Country, are you in on this? Because I don't know what they mean. Snope sniffing. Snope sniffing. So it was, it was Miss Maybe that said toys and soap, right? In the ideas, wasn't that Miss Maybe? More soap for your soap sniff, or for your sniff, <laughs> son of a bitch. In all seriousness, I need more soap for my sniffing collection, yes. Words are hard. Yes, it is a good one. I had to buy all new Cricut mats for this project, guys. Not cheap. But I knew that uh, mine are worn out. I mean, I needed them anyway that there's no way mine would have done this. Discord points to yes, it was Miss Maybe. Yeah, okay, so we're doing uh, lemon soap. We're doing uh, the toys and soap that Miss Maybe requested. We're doing our December gemstone, the last gemstone soap. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Yes, you suggested a soap and I made it. I'm ticking down the list. You get loofah soap. I haven't made loofah soap yet. However, if you look, you can't see it. I'm not showing you until tomorrow. This is close you're going to get. Um, there's two sets of the blue molds there. Lemons? Because somebody donoed for a second one and I bought it and it's already full of soap. Yeah. I put soap in it the first day it got here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you need two December soaps. Country, the winter green is so good. Oh, yeah, it was fine. It was fine, Lemon. It's so good. Do you want to smell it? It smells so good. That's that blue topaz. Look at the pretty colors. All the different blues in there. <laughs> if the soap better be labeled with your name on it. It's called pink lemonade soap. Did you, were you not here when we did the sneak peek on Monday? You didn't want wintergreen? <gasps> You did tell me that. Country, I remember you telling me that. Son of a bitch. I even changed the listing, didn't I? And then I didn't look at it. <gasps> okay. What did, we, what did we say? What did you say it was going to be? I didn't change the listing. It does say winter green. <clears throat> Mrs. Fucked Up. This is not a stream first. Country, what did you tell me? Tell me what you said you wanted. I didn't change the listing. It 
See, this is the problem with me trying to do too much shit at once. Is I forget stuff. And that's upsetting. Because I don't want to do that. Yes, this is a Shira. This is the old lady kitty. Can't even remember yesterday. Damn it. All right, I'll go back and watch. I know it's been a minute. I'll go back and watch the VODs. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, country. We'll fix it. I'll fix it. I know, but I don't remember what you said. And I remember talking about it and me saying that's fine. We, oh, you can't, get, you can't get hair on this stuff. And I remember us talking about it during stream. I remember... But I don't remember what scent we said we'd do instead. And I didn't change the notes. I'll go back and watch the VOD. I'll figure it out. Or if you, if you have a preference, tell me. I cannot remember. Did I write it down? I didn't write it down on my original list either. See, shit like this makes me feel old. This makes me feel old, Shira Cat. All right. I'll fix it, country. We'll make sure you're fine. Just so you can complete the collection. No, you can have a December gemstone in a scent that you want, country. So I do know how far back it's what happens when work gets in the way of Mrs. Stream, right? Um, I do. I remember the conversation. I just don't remember what we decided to do. Isn't that when we were talking about the chocolate covered fruit? Yes, oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's gonna make me crazy. We're gonna figure it out, country. Country's getting her own soap. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have country magic soap coming up next.
What's up, chat? Oh, yeah, says hi. Going back downstairs. Baby cat, are you going to say hi? Hi, baby cat. Meow, meow. Baby say meow. Beta, Big say meow. meow. Oh, meow. Not, not going to talk to me? Big cat, meow. Okay, don't talk to chat. That's fine. Chat. You want to come get a treat? You want to go get a treat? Oh, you can't go get a treat because go away. Penny says hi. All right. A share cat. Can you get in this chair, please? Please. Get in that chair. Don't meow me. Why don't you get in that chair anymore? All right. Hey, Kecko. All right, country, I'll go through these VODs, figure this out. I want to make you your own soap anyway, but I will go through it and figure it out tonight before stream tomorrow <coughs> and get it sorted. I am so sorry I didn't write that down. It is not my intention to tell you that I'm going to do something and then not do it. That makes me feel really bad. And I'd like to give you a bunch of excuses. But. All right. We're going to have to figure out how to engrave keychains. Eleventh and a Q on web chat for support on eleventh and a Q. Well, that's fun. Move the star wheels all the way to the right. Good tip, Cricket. Thank you. Take out our fine point blade. Look at this bad boy. You guys see this? It's just like a metal point. Okay. We got it loaded in there. Those are all of the tips that they give me. So. multitasking in PJs. All right, let's load up Cricut. And talk about what we want on our keychains. Look out, cats. Look out, cats. Look out. All right. You can't see anything because it's under my head.
So here's our first one, our Mrs. Heart. That's what we're going to test this on. I made a soap sniffer. Okay, Penny. And a soap cult one with a bubble. But we're going to test this out on one first. And see how we do. So we're going to hide this. We're going to hide this. We're going to hide this. And we're going to put this Mrs. Heart perfectly even on that second inch square. I'm sorry, country. Seriously. Not at all my intention. I will figure it out. I will go through the VODs tonight. I will figure it out before stream tomorrow. And I will get it fixed. Absolutely. Yes, lemons. Okay. I mean, I'm really glad that... that uh, I'm really glad that we talked about it today and I have an opportunity to fix it. Because I would have felt awful if we'd gone all the way through stream. You're missing a coaster or you have the wrong coaster. What? Your coasters don't match? What the fuck is happening today? All right, Lemons, give me a second. Okay, why don't your coasters match? Which coaster is wrong?
three black and a green. Lemons, take a picture of them and send it to me in Discord real quick. Can you do that? And tell me what you got. Because I think... Because I think we did those on two different days. Didn't we do those on two different days? And you asked for three the one day and then one the other? Isn't that right? They were all on the same day. It was the D day. Okay. Okay. Well, let me go back and look at that too then. Posters at the same time, too. Yeah, I'm going to go through the VODs tonight before I go to bed. And I'll look for that at the same time as the lemons and figure out what what went wrong there. I do have, cause you got, you got the ones that are canvas, right? Like they're not the wood ones, they're the, the canvas. You got wood ones? Okay. Okay, I think this will hold. And I think it's in the right place. Oh, I'm so nervous. It seems to be doing it. <laughs> oh shit, is it done? 
It's done. Right? Yeah, I'll figure it out, Lemons. You watching the VOD now? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. Wow. Wow. I think it's got like little burrs of acrylic in it. Can you guys see it? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a little high, but that's okay because I can fix that. You're okay. So, what I want to do with these, and we'll definitely, obviously I'm going to make more of them tonight. And we will get them lined up properly. <laughs> it's a charm I handmade. Uh, is this little acrylic disc is going to go into a bar of soap and then you will get the little keychain and tassel outside of the soap right And then when you use your soap all up, you can make yourself a little keychain. I actually really like it. It's very, it's very clean. Like, that is very clean. Yeah, so I just made myself an engraved keychain. That's cooler than shit. I don't like the tassel there.
from the lettering. Yeah, I tried to do that on the Cricut. And it is, uh, yeah, I like the tassel better up there. That's better. Uh, I tried to delete it. The Cricut absolutely will not let me. Once you put it on engrave, it continues that line. I can't make it stop. I messed with it for like an hour, Anzi, and could not figure it out. You figured it? No, no need to stress. Oh, did you find it on the VOD already, Lemons? Yeah, I like it. I like it, guys. Let's do it again. So is it okay? It was never a matching set? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can't fault anybody for forgetting something, right? I mean, shit, not today anyway. Right? Let's do this. All right, so. Here's our question. How many do we make? Do we make multiple kinds? Do we just make Mrs. Hearts and start there? Can I center them every other one? So we can do five across in a line. the black so I had the green one instead and country had the red got it okay lemons perfect thank you <laughs> I mean I can get you a matching one if you want we can always work that out if you want So we'll do five Mrs. Hearts. Hey, Allie, how are you? Um, so we'll do the five Mrs. Hearts. <laughs> so this heart we're going to put dead even And centered. You're a bit sleepy. I'm doing all right. I am attempting to make some keychains. Hey, Dark.
I'm attempting to make them consistent so that when I put these on here, they're all the same. That's what we're doing right now. <clears throat> okay, so we've got five Mrs. Hearts. What do we think about soap cult ones? Okay, Anzi, thanks for hanging out with us. Do you guys want to see that bigger? What do we think about that? Do we want those? Or do we want soap sniffers? You don't like soap sniffer at all. <laughs> That's okay. I really like that bubble. Like I really, I really liked how that bubble looked. Lemons is the official soap, soap sniffer. <laughs> we can do, um, we can do five Mrs. Hearts. Um, <clears throat> And five of the soap cults, I guess. Okay, wait. These are much more difficult to line up for some reason. They don't want to go on the damn line. Like this one. This one. You're washing bots for country soap, thank you. I do wish that line wasn't there. Yes. How do I make that happen?
It took it out. Guys. Guys. It took it out. Did it take them all out? Did it just take two of them out? It took the lines out. Oh my God. Okay. Why does that look so choppy? Is it really choppy? Why does it look choppy? <clears throat> oh my God, my Cricut's gonna mess up. My Cricut's gonna mess up. My Cricut just froze up. My cricket just froze. I don't know what's wrong with this program, but I'm telling you right now, this is frustrating the living shit out of me. It looks choppy. Uh, this is Cricut Design Space. It's the program that comes with the machine. That you have to use for Cricut. If I could use, son of a bitch, if I could use any other program, any other program, I would do it. It's not like this was hard to learn or whatever. Um, it just is not friendly. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If I put these hearts right on the line. Theoretically, come here, you come with me. 
theoretically, I should be able to line these all up and we can get 10 keychains. Right? <clears throat> so we'll start by taking all of this fun stuff off of these bad boys. That's a fun sound. So what have you been up to, Allie? They're so clean when you take that, like it's perfect. Can you hear that? Can you hear this static stuff when I pull it off? <laughs> Is it an obnoxious sound? Is it an okay sound? <laughs> You like it? Okay. <laughs> I suppose I should be zooming in the camera and doing this real slow, right? I should have got the paint off of my fingernails before I started, too, if I was going to do stuff like that. Get that on TikTok. I suppose that would be better than Tinder. I mean, for me anyway. Not that Tinder is a bad place to be. I have friends on Tinder. Okay. Four more. Hey, Dark. What was your last package? It was what? Electric scribbles. Eclectic scribbles. Wow. Wow. What's up? It's the scribbles raid. Woke up, scribble people. Hi, Stellaris. Hi, Artsy. Hi, Sweets and Geeks. Hi, Eclectic. What you doing, missus? I'm talking to these people who just raided me. Raid hype. Yes. I just split my lips. What do you mean? Great hype. Okay. And those things turned out amazing. <laughs> We're engraving keychains. That was that's awesome. And you see that? Somebody throw up a Mrs. Heart for them to see. Just took one of my emotes and engraved it on a keychain. The cricket does engrave. And hi, Moonicorny. 
it's going good. How was your stream? You tell me what you did. This part's about you. You don't be coming in here asking me questions. <laughs> What are you doing? You don't get in the cat treats. No, don't come kissing me. Shame on you. I'm sorry. <gasps> you made a baby Groot. How? What medium? What'd you do? You have an old regular? Nothing wrong with it. A crochet baby Groot. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Voodoo buns in a baby group. Oh, that's amazing. This is my son's service dog. His name is Skull. He's in here trying to steal the cat treats because the cat's got treats. So that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> and he knows he's not supposed to. <laughs> so we... Um, we started stream by signing all of my paintings uh, because I've never signed my paintings. So we pulled them all down and signed them all. Yep, Skull. Uh, we have Skull, Ashira, Trax, and Beta. Ashira, Trax, and Beta are all cats. I did finish all the paintings. I signed them all. So all my paintings are now signed. But the real goal tonight was to test engraving with the Cricut because I just bought the, um, the engraver head and I'd never done it before. So I had ordered these keychains. Having a little ASMR squeakiness here. Right? Um, and what I want to do, this was our first test one. And it's a little high, right? So I'm trying to get the placement a little better on the rest of them. But we're going to take this acrylic blank without the keychain or the tassel. And we're going to put it into soap. So we're going to have merch soap for the soap cult. I definitely want to, sweets. I have um, copper and brass sheets already. Um, and then once you use your soap, you can get your little keychain out and you can add uh, the metal piece and the tassel. And um, then you'll have a little Mrs. Hart keychain after you used all your little Mrs. Hart soap. But you gotta wash your damn hands first. <laughs> I did say that was such a straight face like it's normal right it's perfectly normal everybody has their own soap cult it's fine resin on the backs of the acrylic blanks oh to color them that would be fun. No, we just got them today. Have, have, haven't tried anything with them yet. This is our, our brand new thing today. But that is a brilliant idea. I love that. Somebody want to put that in my ideas channel for me so I don't forget? I think that's genius. I want you to know this is a brand new Cricut mat. I bought it specifically for this. It has four cat hairs on it. Four. Just got it. Yes, go eat, go eat. You are under no obligation to sit here and starve after you've been streaming this whole time. <laughs> but it's so good. Thank you so much for raiding me and sharing your community with me. I appreciate that so much. I 
I got to see this baby Groot. Right? Right? It's ever it's in the air, I swear. It's just in the air. I opened this up. I engraved one keychain. I put the sheet back on it. Haven't done anything else with it. Walked over here, there's four hairs on it. Okay. Shit. Okay. So the end of that heart. So if I put this. right there is that too low I think it should be right about there yep that's dark look at this floofy octopus are you gonna get stuff on it? Don't get know. stuff on it. Okay. It's been sitting in my, my toy bin. Okay. Go ahead. It's a giant fluffy octopus. Artsy was like, "Oops, it didn't happen." It's I ten know. It's big. <laughs> and now it'll. Uh, I attached everything and moved it uh, to an exact placement on the map so that I would be able to line these up. Possible dog hair. Um, we actually, my first, my first try, oh yes, Dark is my son. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can find this in here real quick well I found the cat butt one We made these little, um, I made these acrylic pours, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they're called Shit We Say paintings. And this is one of them, which is pretty much my disclaimer. So, yeah, Dark just started crocheting, made a little rabbit, made a little lemon, made the octopus. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of, we put all, <laughs> all the different sayings from stream, right? Glitter's the devil, ugly soap collector, Lord love a duck. Holy fork and shirt balls. <laughs> Soap Siffer support group. Official soap sniffer. Um, yeah, so all the funny stuff, we've got them in rounds and squares. They're all from different, they're all different acrylic pores. Right? Like 
These are all blanks that you guys can customize, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. And they're just little rounds. They've got uh, cork on the back and then uh, I acrylic clear coat them. It's my merch line. I put it up in the Etsy store and decided I was going to make all my own merch. So we make those. We have tumblers. And now we're going to have keychains. So we're getting it done a little bit at a time. Here's the bunny. I lost my glasses. No, I didn't. Know. And a lemon. I know, isn't that bunny cute? The cow will be this size, holding a lemon. Yeah, I think he's doing great for just teaching himself two weeks ago. Make a carrot for the bunny. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Son of a bitch. Right? Yeah, decided that he wanted to make a quilt for his daughter. And um, then decided to make the bunny. And then made the octopus. And it's just been going from there. Okay, Artsy. It was good seeing you again. I'm guessing, I didn't ask Eclectic how you guys came. Was it because Artsy referred you? Is it Kitten's Creations? Cute name. You recommended me. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so these are on line four. Yes, you can make all of these suggestions. CRT. You are not going to offend me by trying to help me.
circles the size of my desk and put them in the software and put what I was engraving over to see where to put the metal discs. Yeah. We did that as well. And then uh, I hid them. But you made like paper circles? Or you mean you made just the circles in design space so that you could see the measurements? In design space, yep, that's where I started. So I had a white circle, and then I put the Mrs. Hart on top of it. And then when we went into, I'm gonna create it, right? I just hid those white circles, and then just moved over um, the design itself. So do you mean you kept that circle in there like and let it engrave the circle too? You hide it. Okay. Okay. I thought you were going to give me like some super great tip on how to get these things lined up on these mats. That's what I was looking for. I was like, oh, hell yeah, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, but that does help a lot. Definitely. Definitely. So that you can see exactly what you're doing. Yeah. So are you, what all are you making? Like, are you making keychains, pendants, stuff like that? You make keychains out of them? That's very cool. I know you can make like, um, uh, dog tags and stuff too. But like I said, I haven't, I've had the Cricut now for a long time, but, um, I mean, obviously the paint's wearing off of it for me using it. Um, but I just bought the engraving tool. Uh, and I was super excited about it. Because I've always wanted to do this, right? Since I got it. And this little keychain idea that ended up in our ideas channel um, was a perfect excuse. We have, a, I, I keep mentioning this, so in my Discord, I have a ideas channel where anybody in the community can post and say, hey, Mrs. Make This Thing, or here's an idea uh, about anything. And then I just slowly check through those ideas slowly. I mean, it's sad, but it's, it's true. Uh, I check through all of those ideas and we make sure we do them on stream. And this is one of them. So... I was pretty excited about it, but I was super nervous because these are not Cricut brand blanks because I couldn't find any Cricut brand blanks to do this. So I ordered these off of Amazon, like hoping for the best. I don't want to break my machine. And 
it seems to be working. Right? All right, let's get this set up. <clears throat> we have the engraving tool loaded. I don't know if they do or not. I couldn't find any. I mean, I looked and looked. They make blanks for a bunch of other stuff right? They make blank coasters and t-shirts and bags and all kinds of stuff, but I can't hardly find anything for the engraving tool. So I gave up and bought these on Amazon. And it worked on the first one, so I'm hoping I don't break my machine now, because... We'll see what happens. The metal you had to buy off of Etsy. I got actual um, sheets from, it's, it's a hobby shop that specializes in um, like model trains and model cars and stuff. And they have a ton of different metal sheets there. And it was far less expensive for me looking at it there than it was ordering it and paying for shipping. So I was kind of excited about that. With the cricket. Oh, it doesn't cut all the way through, right? So I can I can draw on them and then I cut them myself. But I have I have bigger equipment in a barn here on the property. So I can cut through anything. Because, you know, we have like chop saws and jig saws and the whole thing out there. Um, <laughs> so, but I didn't have the engraver before. So all I did was write on it so that it would be precise, right? And then I just worked it with that, or I worked it with my jewelry tools as well, because I make jewelry, so. But I was using them to make um, fillers for pendant backs that I was doing uh, dimensional work on. So that's what I initially needed them for, right? Um, But I would think you could do the same thing with this. You just engrave the round so you could see it and then <coughs> use that as your cut line, right? Or I guess you can just buy them pre-cut. I don't know what all I'll do with it. I really like the idea. <laughs> so the acrylics are great because I don't want to put metal in my soap. 
because metal has a chemical reaction, right? Well, it's definitely easier to buy them pre-cut if you can find them anyway. I mean, just time-wise, you know, it's worth your money because it saves you so much time. So, oh, I don't blame you one way or the other. Um, wow, this is messy. There is acrylic dust everywhere. Yeah, so anyway, I can't put metal in soap because it'll change the color of the mica. It'll change uh, the sense of the essential oils. It'll, ch you know. So I was excited about these because I could actually put a piece of, I mean, I can put them in bath bombs. I can put them in soap. I can put them in all that kind of stuff, which is fun, right? So that's why I was excited about the acrylic. I do think it would be cool to do a two-sided design. Like for instance, on the back side, you have trees and ground and trees up here. And then on the front side, you have a couple standing here. So it's like three dimensional. So you're looking through it and the forest is behind them. You know what I mean? That would be cool to do on these because they're see-through. The sounds this makes is scaring me. Because you have like, you can do different stuff because they're see-through, right? I can't believe how fast this thing engraves. Like that blows my mind. It takes it longer to draw than it does to do this. I really hope I line these up right. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I didn't. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Do you have pictures of, of what you do, Sweets? Do you, like, do you have an Instagram or a Twitter or anything where you put up pictures of your work? Because I'd love to see it if you're comfortable posting a link. Links in this channel are open all the time, by the way. Anybody can post a link at any time. Because um, I want people to be comfortable sharing what they do. And I want to see what you do. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't affect it that it's trying to engrave through this masking tape. You have an Etsy? Yeah, throw up your link. I don't care if it's your Etsy store. I just want to see stuff that you do. Ugh. I'm so nervous. Look, guys. I hope it went right through that painter's tape and it's not a problem, but I'm scared now. I'm scared. I'm going to go look at your link instead. Look how cute this is. What's it say? Oh, I'm sorry. 
there's little bubbles there that look like one of our acrylic pour paintings and it says soap cult. And then that one, those are all the Mrs. Hearts. Where'd I put the first one I did? Here it is. And that's what they look like when they're done, maybe. You like it? Well, we're going to see if I got these even. Hey, Kenneth. How are you doing? It's a whole bunch of like uh, tearing the stream tonight. Just me removing tape. That's what we've been, the whole stream's about today. <laughs> Working with a 3D printer, what are you making? It did cut through the painter's tape. That makes me happy. you can. Oh, you're on Thingiverse. Oh, this is very cool. Nice. Why are you huffing at me? Why you come huff at me? You don't huff at me. That's very cool. Are you just making it for Valentine's Day or for somebody? These need to be cleaned up a little. But check it out. It's dead center. Oh, that's nice. I bet she'll love it. We're going to put them in soap. I made five of them, though. I thought it would be fun maybe to put these, to put one of these blanks in the soap. Yeah. And then send a keychain and a little tassel with it and then you can use your soap. Look at that cluster of misses right there. But I can put them up on merch as for just by themselves too. You don't have to buy them in soap. Here is the soap coat one. How would it be easier for you to see this? Like we need a solid color behind it. There we go. It's so reflective. These are going to be great. Super hard to take a picture of when you can see the reflection of the camera in the item. 
right? Yeah, they've got like little, like, I know, right? <laughs> Your toys and soap ideas sitting behind me too, maybe. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Right? I don't get these ideas all by myself. I know they're so freaking cute. I can't even. They're so cute. Look at this ridiculousness right here. You see this? It's a unicorn ducky. He's very strange. He's very strange unicorn duck egg. <laughs> he didn't get put into soap. But three of his buddies did. Oh my gosh. I freaking love these, you guys. I'm so excited these worked. And I love the idea of putting resin behind them to color them. Like, that's fun. Right? Lord love a duck soap. Well, I figured, okay, so I think your original idea was dinosaurs. Tell me if I'm wrong. Or something else. Cars? I don't remember. I think it was dinosaurs. Anyway, I was trying to think of something that would go for, um, you know, any gender, right? And so I was looking at, like, Disney stuff and all of that, right? Yeah, just like little toys that would fit in the soap. And then I found this little, um, like, bath time puffer fish that you squeeze and water shoots out of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This would be so cute, right? But I couldn't find any more of them. I could only find one, which isn't enough for us, right? So then I went to another store and I found these, all these rubber duckies. And I was like, yes, rubber duckies. Hello, Trax. So now we have Lord Love a Duck Soap. That's how that happened. So we'll be doing Lord Love a Duck Soap tomorrow. Trax, are you okay, buddy? Why do you need so much attention right now? Hmm? Why do you need all the loves? You alright? Hey, Flame. What's up? <clears throat> All right. So choices, choices, guys. I mean, I suppose. Ooh. I suppose I can put a couple of these up just as keychains. And then we could do some of them in soap. Just chilling. Five. So I have nineteen left. 
Right. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll we'll put these together. I'll just put a couple of them up as they are, and then we'll put a couple of them in soap. We can do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Then we can have both. And then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save these. I would really like to do like, um, Like little custom ones would be fun, right? Wow, country. Okay. So they gave me like a whole stack of these really cute little thank you stickers. That's nice. Are you supposed to put them on the keychains? Like why would you, wouldn't they just come off? They're pretty cool though, they match my stuff. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll do some of these in soap, we'll put some of these up. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I need this over here. I do not want to leave that in this machine. And I need to get some compressed air and clean that out because it is full of shavings, which is not cool. Because that's a mess. All right. All right. Is every one of these a different color? Every one of these is a different color. That's impressive. No, those are the same color. Like these are close, but they're not quite the same color. How bizarre. Are these really the same color? Yes, these are the only two that are the same color. Hey cooties, how are you doing? I was just thinking about you. I know. I saw somebody named um, Daddy Coop. And I was like, I wonder how Cooties is. <laughs> it's going good. It's going good. How have you been? What have you been doing?
Wow. What else is she making me buy? Oh, no. You don't have to buy anything. You can just come hang out. You're never obligated. And I have no idea why that guy's name reminded me of you or made me think of you. But here you are. You do have to buy something. No, you don't. <laughs> Tassels of <laughs> thing. Um, no. I took my emote and made it into an acrylic engraved keychain. You don't have to buy anything. But hopefully you will become unbroke just because it's nice to not be broke. March bars. Can you see it? March bars. For the birthstone? The gemstone soaps? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, cooties. <laughs> We're making December tomorrow. We have the whole year up. Yeah. Shit's been busy. <laughs> There's still plenty of them. You're okay. You're okay. Yep, we will have December up tomorrow, and that will be the entire year. <laughs> and I have pictures of all of them except for November, I think. I don't remember if I took a picture of November, but I think all of them have photos up there too. These are freaking cool, y'all. I suppose we could do like a blue and a gray maybe for these. I don't know what colors to pick. This would have been a lot easier if all the tassels were one color. Because I have no idea what colors to put on these. Tracks. Buddy, what is with you today? He just keeps jumping up here and purring super loud. He's 
Mike, I want to be with you. You want to be on here, don't you? I don't want you... Are you trying to play with the tassels? Is that what you're doing? These are not for you. That's exactly what you're doing. That's why you're being all lovey to me is because you think I have cat toys. <laughs> no, these are not treats either, Skull. You all are impossible. I swear. <laughs> Feeling, I think I spent three quarters of my last check in her shop. Love you, Mrs. You have to be here. We have to give treats to the cat. Trex, yes, he's special. A special cat. I was trying to, I will give treats to the cat. I was trying to set these here because I think you can see them better on the wood when I zoom in. Obviously I put them too high. There. You need treats, buddy. All right. <laughs> or you just want attention. You're gonna make Cooties have dirty thoughts because all you want are the tassels. All right, let's get Trax some treats. You want some more treats, buddy? I know Skull does because Skull tried to break into the cat treat box. Trax, you can stay up here. I'm done. I'm done making stuff. You can have treats up here. Come here. Come on. You guys aren't going to get up there? There's literally treats on the table. And you're not going to get up there? No? No? Are you serious right now? Both of you all? Okay, they're not going to get up here. She's not doing it. She's just sitting here meowing at me. Like I did something wrong. No, she's fine. Leave her there. There you go, Trax. Skull. Sit. He's okay. He just got down. There you go, buddy. No. Skull can open this. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't buy it anymore. Yeah. See, it don't box me once. Yeah, he opened it and was trying to get into him tonight. So. I gave them to you, and that's the second time you had treats. You're fine. Go and get up there, share, share. Yes. <coughs> All right. She was such a good girl. Sure. Doesn't she have the sweetest meow? She's like, give me a treat. You don't have a treat in your hand. I have tape. This tape. You just ate. You just got treats. Be good. Watch your tail tracks. All right. Get your butt away from my keychains. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with those. We'll have to think of what else to do with this little um, engraver. She's old, old kitty. She's 11. She's 11 years old. <laughs> She's literally hitting me in the face with her tail. Scooch. Scooch if you're going to go. No. You don't need cat treats. <laughs> cat butt. I don't know what's made them decide to stand on the arm of my chair all the time. I don't, I don't know why they're doing this. Anyway, all right, so tomorrow we have toy soap. We have uh, pink lemonade soap. We have... Um, our December soap to be announced, which will be our last gemstone soap. 
So the whole year will be up on Etsy as of tomorrow. And then we will get to start on uh, a new series, which I'm excited about. So we will get to do all of that stuff tomorrow, which should be fun. Ugly Soap Anonymous, we get to put names on the board for February for our second month, which is exciting. <clears throat> and for now, we're going to go look for somebody to raid. Who do you guys want to raid? Do you guys know somebody that's doing something cool that you want to go check out? Anybody have any raid recommendations? No? We can go find somebody new. <gasps> Is Kirby streaming right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, Gabby, we'll see you. We're gonna go, we're gonna go raid Kirby Reeves, you guys. I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't got to see Kirby in forever. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate every one of you. Every single one of you. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. It was so good to see you again. All y'all. All right, here we go. Okay, love you, bye.